Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about some rumors that I found regarding the Fantastic Four, specifically regarding Reed Richards and Sue Storm. But before I get into it, please subscribe to this channel, ring that bell icon down below to be notified when I post new videos. Also, be sure to hit the thumbs up button if you like this video, and please share with your friends. Now, pardon my hair, it's a bit nappy, I just finished my workout. This, this article is called Latest News, Fanta or Latest Fantastic Four Rumor Claims, Reed Richards and Sue Storm will already be parents. Written by John F. Trent, naturally. It was written on the 23rd, so yesterday. So yeah, the latest Fantastic Four rumor claims that Reed Richards and Sue Storm will be introduced into Marvel Cinematic Universe as parents. Now, potentially that could be interesting, but I always find that odd whenever you're introducing a role where they're just starting out. I want to see the Fantastic Four properly done in origin story, done correctly and everything. Granted, it's going to be hard to beat the other Fantastic Four movies. I know many people don't like the other ones, mostly because of Jessica Alba's, the way they treated her appearance and everything. Personally, I just like the movie. It's fun. It's entertaining. I didn't like the Silver Surfer one only because it seemed kind of wonky and they just wanted to, they kind of ham-fisted the reappearance of Doom and it just, it was a bit awkward. Okay, so this rumor comes from Jeff Snyder during an appearance on John Roca's The Hot Mike Show. Nice, okay. So, Snyder revealed that Sersha Sersha Ronan will not be cast as Sue Storm because the studio will be, the studio believes that she's too young to be a mother. Personally, I think that that's not the case. I think if you're 21, 22, you could be a mother. I've seen 17-year-olds. My mom, I think, was a mother when she was 18. So it's kind of common at this at this stage. At this stage, it just seems more common. But if they're trying to go, it depends on what age they're going for. I'm going to keep reading. He said somebody reached out, and they, they reached out, and they go, yo, it's not going to be Sarsha Rona. And I go, why? And they go, well, here's why. Reed and Sue are parents in the movie. They're going to be parents. Okay, then. Snyder went on to say, that's what I heard, and so she's too young. He also claimed that the kids will not be newborns or infants. Okay, that, that explains it. But a little bit older. However, he said he also said, I don't know how old, and I don't know if this person is even correct. But it's someone who I trust, and they said Sarsha is a little young for what they're looking for. Okay. Reed Richards, a.k.a. Mr. Fantastic and Sue Storm, a.k.a. Invisible Woman, have two children after getting married. Their eldest is Franklin Richards, that his younger sister is Valeria Megan Richards. Franklin first appeared in the in the comics in Fantastic Four Annual number six back in nineteen sixty eight, albeit he was unnamed. Now I love these panels. I remember reading these. Yep, yeah, come in and meet your new son. Isn't he beautiful, Reed? And it's like he'd have to be with you for his mother. <laughs> I'm so thankful, so happy, I can hardly speak. He seems so helpless, so tiny, in a world that's so gigantic, so filled with unknown dangers. He's not going to have to worry about danger, pal, not with us around. Yeah, you see, I want to hear a New Yorker accent. I can't do one, but I'd love to see Ben Graham with a New Yorker kind of accent. And then you have, we'll never, we'll never stop trying to make the nutty, this nutty world of ours a better place. So that he and all the other little children everywhere can grow up in peace and brotherhood to which we say amen <laughs> she looks all exhausted okay so he would receive the name franklin in fantastic four number 94 with reed explaining he was named after sue's father franklin okay then yep i remember reading these as a kid my grandfather collected them he was a big collector franklin eventually becomes one of the strongest mutants alive able to wield psionic energy capable of destroying earth he even uses it to age, him, to age himself up so his body can withstand or handle and control his powers. However, even with more with a more mature... Sorry about the noise. That's my phone. Even with a more mature and stronger body, he still lacked the emotional maturity to, well, handle them. He, could, he transformed himself back into a child and put dampeners on himself so that he could eventually grow into his powers as he aged. Uh, I'm not going to read this one. That's... <laughs> I remember reading this. I didn't like it. Franklin's power would expand to be able to create an entirely new planet. He was even deemed a being whom 
the Celestials felt was on par with themselves. <clears throat> Personally, I don't want to see these stories being focused on. It's kind of annoying. I want to see the typical Fantastic Four fighting to protect Earth. On Earth, I hope I don't see anything like this for a while. I don't mind it being like a second movie or even third movie, but first one needs to be more simplistic. It needs to be focused on creating the team of the Fantastic Four. As for Franklin's sister, Valeria, she is much more she is a much more recent creation, first appearing in Fantastic Four number fifteen in nineteen ninety nine, and believed to be the daughter of Sue Storm and a heroic Victor Von Doom. However, it was later it would later be revealed that Valeria was indeed the biological child of Reed and Sue. Franklin had actually transported her to a different location, making Sue believe that she had a miscarriage. Valeria didn't typically have an, any inherent superhuman abilities. Rather, she relies on her technical aptitude to create contraptions that provide her the ability to manipulate force fields similar to Sue's storm or provide her superhuman strength. Given Franklin and Valeria are typically involved in, a multi in multiple reality storylines, in time traveling, it's quite possible the two could play a significant role in whatever Marvel Studios has planned during their multiversal saga. However, it may be too late, a little too late, as recent Marvel Cinematic Universe entries indicate a significantly decreased interest in the ongoing superhero saga. I don't know if people are disinterested in the concept of superheroes. I think they're just not interested in the concept of storylines being poorly written, ham-fisting female empowerment and not actually making powerful women but being ra rather creating kind of an insulted parody version of a strong woman you can be feminine and strong and the men are seemingly made soft and pointless to the point where they're almost like oh they're too dumb to actually be heroes and it's kind of it's getting out of hand at this point and it's kind of sad I feel that they introduce intelligent intelligent men who are strong and powerful it would encourage other men to become strong, powerful, and intelligent. Same thing goes with female people. Female, sorry. Women. Same thing goes with women. If you're going to introduce Sue Storm, you need to make sure that she's strong, intelligent, but beautiful and soft and kind. you got to introduce feminine traits that are typical of a woman. And make sure that she's heroic. I'm going to continue reading it. I think, oh, no, that's it. So, yeah, that's all the rumors that they have. They don't have a lot going on regarding Fantastic Four. But, personally, I feel that there's a lot of things that leave... They leave a lot to be desired, mostly, at this point in time. I want to see more... I want to see... I just want to see the Fantastic Four done properly. Honoring the lore, respecting the history of the Fantastic Four. It's Marvel's first family, and it needs to be done right. And they've done it right before to a degree. It had elements that were not the best with the previous movies and live action. Definitely not the most recent one. But personally, like I said, I want to see it done right. I don't want to see the children of the Fantastic Four for at least another four movies at this point. I, I, it's kind of ridiculous to kind of introduce them so soon. When I mean, I love having teenage superheroes on TV. That's great. But... They need to be done right, not used to kind of replace the older ones or to treat the older ones as though they're pointless. Anyway, that's all I'm going to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button down below. Thank you for watching. This has been Create TV. Also, be sure to subscribe. Goodbye, and God bless.